What was the difference in that versus Guantanamo Bay? The, there really actually wasn't too much of a difference. Um, the one we had was kind of a more of a, uh, it wasn't uh, as complex, I would say, uh, in Iraq as it was in Gitmo. Uh, Gitmo, they would have, you know, everything was, you know, stationed, you know, set up right, correctly, this and that, where in Iraq we pretty much commandeered uh, a building. I think it was actually a, uh, an old office building for the Iraqi Air Force. And we just, you know, we made cells, um, put a, you know, a cage door in front of it, uh, cleaned out the cells, gave them, you know, their, you know, their needs, and that was really about it. But we were not the permanent prison. That was probably the biggest difference. Mm -hmm. uh, down there, you know, the guys you, that are down in Gitmo, when I left, were still down there. Whereas we cycled through, I know I cycled through at least well over four or 500 uh, in the course of me being there for a year. And in cycling them through, they went from there to we possibly were, Guantanamo Bay? No. no. Okay. We were uh, what we call a DHA. Uh, D -H -A, uh, it's a uh, holding area, mm -hmm. and that's pretty much what we are. It's just a holding area. When you mentioned training or recruiting the police, did you also train them? No, we didn't. The we Iraqis recruited them. you recruited? Yes, there was a, uh, a separate entity from us who would train them. So who would make the decision who to or who not to recruit? We would set up... Uh, kind of like a recruiting center in the areas that we were assigned to. We brought out a, a test, actually. Um, it was a literacy test, uh, any kind of uh, history test, a family test, you know, just give them a test. Some of the questions would be, you know, have you ever been a loyalist to Saddam? Has your family ever been involved? And in the, you know, questions that you have to ask that they seem almost, uh, you know, the questions almost seem I don't even know what the word is, just, you, you kind of look at the question like, why would you ask me this? It's almost like I would, uh, I don't know, it's just, when I looked at that test, I just like, because it would be in English and in Arabic, and you look at it and be like, you know, have you ever uh, fired upon the, you know, the U.S. forces? Well, uh, if I'm taking a test, you know, say for Natick police, and it says, have you ever, you know, beat up a Natick police officer, do you really think I'm going to put down yes or no, yes, you know? Right. It's just one of those things that I thought was one of the uh, moments in the Army where you're just like, and there it is, you know. Yeah.